Hello and welcome back to a new video here on the Ludwig Fussel channel. In today's uh, video, I want to give you an introduction to the product MoxPP. The product MoxPP is a uh, template repository uh, that you can find publicly available on GitHub. Uh, I have designed this um, for my company, Moxibyte. It's a company that I founded for YouTube. And the purpose of this uh, template repository is to give you a starting point uh, for your C++ projects and it includes uh, Conan and Premake 5. So the idea is uh, all your external dependencies are managed by Conan and your project is generated by Primake and this repository gives you kind of like a starting structure and the main purpose it gives you a hell of a lot of scripts that are implementing many many actions that uh, are most of the time required and you would need to rewrite for every of your projects this uh, whole project is cross compatible uh, with multiple platforms so you can use it on Windows and you can use it on Linux I don't have a Mac so I cannot test it and implement it for a Mac and yeah so maybe that's not a, not in there currently however windows and linux it's completely supported and it's um portable between of them so it is not uh only re kind of like that you start on windows and needs to be on windows it is completely cross compatible now this video today shall give a quick introduction i also want to upload a video later on today maybe tomorrow uh, where i'm actually going to do a full in-depth tutorial on how you can use it but this video this purpose is to show how fast you can get up and running with external dependencies, with everything. Now, if you want to do this properly, this is um, going to be suggested after that video. You can directly jump in the next video and do it properly. There is a whole checklist that you need to do to correctly uh, set up the repository and kind of like make this your project. The purpose of today's video, of this video, uh, is to just give you a quick introduction to show you how fast it works. Now, I'm really confident, I haven't tried it out previously, but I'm confident on designing that uh, template repository that we can get this up and running in three minutes. Three minutes to you. Create a new repository from the template, uh, cloning this to the machine, going into the code, making sure that the code works, and then actually pulling in a different external dependency and then also using the external dependency in a proper way. So I'm gonna time that with my Apple Watch. You're gonna get a proper overlay where we're gonna where you're gonna see a counter that counts the time. And yeah, I would say I'm gonna ready up and we will start. All right, so the first step is that we're gonna click on uh, use this template, create a new repository. Now we need to name this. I'm gonna call this one uh, Mox PP uh, tutorial. This name is gonna probably change. It's gonna be uh, public and I'm gonna create a repository uh, from template. Uh, this should only take a few seconds. I hope I'm confident enough that it is fast enough. Uh, so that it works. All right, there it is. Now we have uh, our our template. Now what I want to do is I want to clone this. So I'm going to go to the folder where I want to put this in, open up a comment line and do a git clone from there. And there we go, it's done. And what I now can do is I can right click that folder and I can say show more options, open with Visual Studio Code. And now we have the the, the cloud repository from the template. You can see everything is in here. Now to get started, we need to kind of like follow a bit of the readme here. I'm gonna know how it works. As you can see on Windows, I shall run mox.bat in it so that the project is initialized. I'm gonna open myself up a new terminal. It's a PowerShell, so this might not straight away work, but let's try it out. Yeah, it's not straight away working. Let's do a, a comment prompt. I haven't configured this VM correctly to to always use the CMD. So I run a mod, uh, uh, mox of bat. You can see that it downloaded Premake. Now it is actually uh, gener downloading all the dependencies. And you can see it is actually quite fast. You can see that we have a solution, moxpp.sln. Now I can open this up by typing the name in moxpp.sln, pressing enter. And Microsoft Visual Studio is going to open up. And we are at like 1 minute and 40 seconds. And that's looking quite well. And you can see we have our main.cpp. I'm on debug here. You can see that I'm having a hello world example here that uses SPD log for saying hello, just to show that all dependencies are working. Let's uh, build this project to see that everything works here. Yeah, build succeeded. If I run that, we should get a warning, SPD log warning, hello world. Okay, so that's all good. Now what I want to do is I want to add UUID support to my project. So UUID, uh, LibUUID, that's a portable version of doing C++, uh, no, it's, it's a C 
project uh, is CD UUID is the library what I want to use that one here uh, which is kind of like a proposal for the uh, standard library UUID libraries now to add this I'm going to go to my conant file I'm going to go save requires I'm going to add an SCD UUID I'm doing init again it is going to download the dependency it's going to compile maybe the dependency and it is done and if I now reload that you can see reload it stick include uuid.h and we can use uuids uuid uuid and we have added a external dependency and my watch says now we are at three minutes and we are finished so actually I was right we have correctly um, with my project Added an extra, uh, cloned, uh, created a new repository, cloned it to our system, um, checked that everything works, and then actually modified it by adding another external dependency in. And this was done in less than three minutes. And that's an, an amazing time, right? Right? The video is just six minutes long, and we have done everything, and we have a whole working repository. Now, of course, if you want to do it properly, it doesn't work like that. This is kind of like an advertisement video. This is an advertisement video where I want to advertise the next video that's going to probably pop up now or later. And in this next video, we're going to do a full depth introduction. The repository has many features, especially when it comes to organizing your sources and multiple projects that is all supported. There are many things that we can do with uh, the library and I want to basically cover that all in depth without any hassle but for this video it's that i hope i uh, kind of like uh, sell the library to you and yeah check the library out and the library it's not a library but it's a template repository right check the template repository out so you can find it at github.com slash moxybyte slash moxpp so thank you for watching um see you in a few seconds in the next video where we're gonna do a in-depth introduction to that project so thank you for watching See you in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe.